Welcome to the Heart to Heart Podcast. This is a place where I encourage aspiring artists to be brave, confident, and original. Today's topic is something that is very important to me, and I talk about it seeming, it seems like I talk about this all the time, but you may ask, why is making original art so important? Why is this a big deal? Why do I talk about it so much? Why did I make a podcast where making original art is part of my tagline? This is really important to me because as a self-taught artist, I never really understood how important it is for you to create original art until I started creating original art myself. So like I've told you before, when I started doing this, I was just really digging, looking, trying to find any information that I could online, and and I actually did a lot of copying in the process of learning how to paint things for myself. And copying someone else's painting so that you can learn how to do whatever it is that they're doing that you want to learn to do is part of how we learn. It's part of what we do when we're learning anything, really. We take things that we see, we experiment with them, we try it for ourselves, and then eventually we get to a point where we have done that so many times that we feel comfortable with it now. We feel like we can, we can handle this. We can begin to add our own elements to it and our own spin to it. And I didn't realize how exciting it is, how satisfying it is to create original artwork until I really began letting myself create original artwork. And when I say letting myself, giving myself permission to experiment and try things and do things that I hadn't really seen someone else do. So let's start. I'm going to give you three, three reasons why I believe making original art or your, um, your goal, your aspiring goal to be as original as possible is important. Number one, how boring would it be if everyone made the same thing? If everyone painted the same way, created things the same way, just everything in our lives would be so bland because there are artists who are creating everything that we decorate with in our homes. Just think about curtains, for example, or lampshades, or tablecloths, or napkins, or dress patterns, or fabric, napkins, uh, paper plates. Everything that has some sort of design on it was created by an artist. And if everything had the exact same design, it would be very boring. Things would not be as exciting or as beautiful as they are today. And part of, of all of the beauty that you can, can inject into your home, into your own space, is, is partly because there is an artist somewhere out there who made some original art. And they're using it in some way to create products that you enjoy. So how boring would it be if everyone made the same exact thing? Number two, when you create something that is original, it gives the world beauty that only you can offer. There are things that you can make that I cannot There is something special about the way that you hold a palette knife or the way that you see a flower. There are parts to your imagination and your creativity that no one else has. 
So when you give the world a piece of what is inside of you as far as imagination and creativity and beauty go, you're giving a gift. So you would be holding back that beauty and that gift by not creating something that is brave and original to your imagination. So that's number two. You are offering something that only you can offer to the world. And number three, it's the most satisfying creative work that you can do. It's the most exciting creativity that you can can try because when you're in that moment and you're in that creative flow trying to figure out should I use this color should I use that color should I add this should I take away that once you make it the way you want it to be you've tried and experimented with things and you get it just right it is so exciting and so much fun and so satisfying. So that is the main reason why I really want everyone who, especially those who are in my creative community and you have taken any of my classes, you listen to the podcast or read the blog or you're in my circle um, at all, (laughs) that is why I talk about originality so much because being brave, being confident, and being original are the most important parts of of being an artist, in my opinion. And it takes bravery to step out and do something a little different than what you may have seen others do. When you're looking at someone else's work, And you can see that there is a great appreciation for it in the world, whether it's on social media or in a gallery or wherever it may be. You're going to be tempted to try to create exactly what they're creating because you want that affirmation also. But I'm telling you, when you start making things that are just yours, And they may be influenced by other artists in some way. And everything that we make does have an influence of some sort based on our own experiences and the things that we may have seen or heard or learned. But when you put all of those things together yourself, then it's going to be different from all the experiences and teachings and classes that someone else may have taken because you are the only you in the world and only you can create the art that only you can create so don't hold that back don't be afraid to try something different don't be um don't be fooled into thinking that you have to make something that looks like someone else's because their art is is selling out or is very popular or whatever it may be. You're going to find the most satisfying work, um, the most excitement in your creative journey when you allow yourself to be brave and confident and create original art. And I've created a resource. This gets this gets asked a lot online. People have asked me, I get messages, I get emails. And so I created a resource that was first offered in my creative community. It was a video that I share how I pull inspiration from lots of different places and kind of put it all together and show you how to begin to weed through all of those things and begin being a little more confident with what you think your style is and how you want to create things. And so you can go over and grab that over on my website. I'll put a link to that here 
in the show notes and I hope that it will be helpful to you. It's totally free. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that it helped you to understand why making original art is such an important thing to me and why I talk about it so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.